Rick Lagina and Doug Kroll join Rick's brother Marty, Craig Tester, and other members of the team in the war room. They have gathered to hear a scientific report that has just come in concerning the strange wood sample recovered two weeks ago during their core drilling operations in the Money Pit area. Yeah, guys, as you'll recall, um, in some of our test drilling, uh, specifically FG-12, we found some very peculiar wood. And the reason it was peculiar is because it was at the end of the tunnel that you guys found, or we think, from shaft two. The base of that tunnel was consistently at 103 feet, I believe. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And this wood was deeper. It didn't look right. Uh, it certainly had none of the characteristics of the head and shaft. So, I mean, it was too dark looked very old, so we decided to get it uh, carbon-14 dated, and Craig here has the results. Um, definitely got good results. It's from 1626 to 1680. Wow. I like that. Mm -hmm. Wood from the Money Pit area, dated to more than a century before the discovery of the fabled treasure shaft, have Rick, Marty, and the team finally pinpointed the location where the Oak Island Treasure Vault lies buried deep below. It's very encouraging that the highly likely date of this wood is quite old, in the 1600s somewhere. We've got lots of data that says that something substantial happened here, maybe between 1650 and 17-something. And that, all that's new. I was not a believer in that at all. I wonder what was happening in this area, late 1600s, early 1700s. Yeah, that's the question. Can I see it? Yeah, absolutely. Huh. Well, yeah. you know what, 1680, that's um, Dr. Spooner's big date. Yeah. 1680, he said with some degree of certainty that something went on in the eye of the swamp. There's a sediment right there. Earlier this year, after extracting core samples from the swamp, Dr. Ian Spooner presented Rick, Marty, and the team with some astonishing data. This is quite a provocative site. He determined that not only was the swamp potentially created over 800 years ago, but that significant human activity took place in the so-called eye of the swamp sometime in the late 17th century. I'm very confident we're looking at 1680 to 1700, that that disturbance took place. Really interesting. That's his date, 1680. Dr. Spooner said that something of an industrial scale went on here. Those dates are bloody fantastic. Yeah, those are good. This certainly begs for further investigation. I mean, those are outlier dates. There's no question about it. Got to follow the clues, see where they lead. Yep. This is the year. 